Hello everyone and welcome to the One Man Renegade Podcast YouTube channel. I'm your host, John Ray B, and it's my Monday. Yep, it's my Monday again, and we're looking through some of my collections and we're continuing on with the Funko Pops. Uh, head on up and hit that little button if you've missed the previous ones and check out some of my other uh, some of my other Funko Pops in my collection. Today we'll be going over some more of them, uh, but while you're at it, head on down there and hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, hit the share button, hit the notification bell. Uh, after this is over, go check out some of my other videos and hit the thumbs up button on those ones too. And, uh, you know, if you feel it necessary, you can hit the thumbs down. I get it. Sometimes these aren't the best videos in the world. But to help me out, why don't you head on down to the comments and let me know what you didn't like about the video. Or if you did like the video, let me know what you did like about the video. Maybe you have one of these Funko Pops. Maybe you're looking for to find one of these Funko Pops. Maybe you have a story about one of your Funko Pops. I don't know. Whatever you want to put down there, let me know and we'll find out. And... While you're scrolling down there, there's a bunch of links down there. There's one for my YouTube. Nope, this is the YouTube. Keep on doing it. There's one for my podcast. There's one for my blog, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, Twitter, um, and also links. If you want to get one of these nice little mats for yourself, uh, you can find out where to get that down there. Uh, so let's keep going. Let's move on. Um, mostly, I think today is all going to be wrestling ones um, as I look quickly. Uh, so here we go. This one's a Walgreens, Walg, Walgreens, Walgreens exclusive. It is an old school Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. Now I did not get this at Walgreens. Um, it, I checked multiple times for these at Walgreens, and they're a little bit. It's a little bit older, so um, 2017. So I mean, I checked like three months ago. Yeah, these are definitely no longer in Walgreens that I could tell. But I got it on. I think Macari or eBay, I don't remember, one of those places. Um, it's pretty cool, I like it. I like the old school Shawn Michaels look there. Uh, Heartbreak Kid. There's a more current one, which we'll get to at some point. Uh, that's not as cool. Uh, but it's also still old school, but not as old school. This is like back when he first like left the Rockers and threw Gennetti through a barbershop window and all that, all that stuff. It's got a little bit of damage there, but not terrible. Uh, I'm not going for pristine, I don't think, but... Um, I just kind of want to get these to get these. I'm, you know, I've been kind of, I was debating back and forth whether I should just open them and put them somewhere. Uh, but I haven't quite figured that out. So for now, I'm just keeping them in the boxes. Um, I guess I never really talked about that. Um, and I do have Funko, I do have um, pop protectors that I'm going to put these in for the time being. Uh, but that's part of what I'm doing. I'm kind of going through them, showing them off for the YouTube channel. And then I'm going to put them in the pop protectors uh, going forward. Uh, but this one is currently, this one had a, this one shot up in value for some reason. Uh, recently, um, it was, it was only like 10 or 12 bucks. And all of a sudden I saw on pop price guide that it shot up to like 35 or something crazy. I think it's fallen back down recently. Yeah, it's at 19. So that's more in line. Uh, I think someone just sold one in eBay and someone just jumped on it and bought it for way too, way too much than they, way more than they should have, which kind of skewed the, skewed the listing a little bit, but now it's back to somewhere reasonable where i think that makes sense 19 dollars. it's a cool one uh for sure uh moving on we got jake the snake roberts um there's also a chase version where he's in his uh he's got the uh the yellow the yellow snake and different tights blue tights when he came back in 96 i want to say it was um and it was doing like the born again kind of version of jake the snake roberts but um yeah, I was a fan of Jake Sick Roberts back in the day. He was always kind of a... He was a really good bad guy, but then but then he just got too popular and they made him a good guy. And then then Damien squashed his snake and he got Lucifer and then he turned into the warrior. And they really should have had a warrior Jake the Snake match and it just never happened. Uh, I still don't know what happened with that, but I mean, that's that's a whole other podcast. That's probably a podcast um, um, subject matter to do. But um, yeah, Jake the Snake Roberts. All right, moving on, we got uh, Kurt Angle. Um, so this one's kind of interesting because I don't know what era Kurt Angle is supposed to be. I don't. I mean, I don't think of it. I, it doesn't seem like it's him when he came back, but it's like it's him with the gold medal, obviously. But then it's like he's not doesn't use the bald version. I don't know. But anyways, it's still cool. Um, Kurt Angle is always one of my favorite back in the day uh, with the three eyes. Uh, but this, that's a cool one. Oh yeah, uh, sorry, I didn't I didn't say what the Jake the Snake Roberts one's valued at. 
The Jake the Snake Robert one is currently at nine dollars. That one also, this one also had a jump up in price for no reason recently, but it's fallen back down to where it should be. Um, and then the Kurt Angle is at ten dollars, so nothing crazy, just commons, no exclusives. The, I mean, the Shawn Michaels is at least a Walgreens exclusive, but that's nothing crazy. Um, and speaking of Shawn Michaels, there's the other Shawn Michaels. This one um, is him in his WrestleMania 12 gear. Um, this one came out a little bit after the other one, so this one's a little bit more common because it wasn't exclusive or anything like that. I don't know. I kind of like this one better, the old school one better. Uh, but this one's cool. I mean, it depicts a certain, a specific event, though, which is kind of cool with WrestleMania 12. But um, this one is currently booking. Booking. This one's currently valued at um five dollars so yeah this one's not very hard to find you can come across this one <laughs> you know, pretty easily and it's uh widely available um so if you like Shawn michaels go check it out um although i would recommend the walgreens one a little better all right moving on we got a rick flair so there's like at least i think there's four or five rick flares this is the most recent one um and it's the most common one um from last year uh, and it's still cool to have Ric Flair I mean the cool the really cool one if you can find it anywhere is the one that came with the video game um, um, but unfortunately it's like the special edition woo edition of I want to say it was 2k 17 or might have been 18 don't remember which version it was but the, it comes with a Funko Pop it's like it's pretty expensive um, even still, if you can find it. Um, and I think it's because of the pop more so than the game at this point. But I don't know. But whatever. But this uh, Ric Flair is a more common one. This kind of depicts him in 92, 91, 92 when he was in WWE. Um, whereas the other ones out there, I think, depict him more when he was in um, NWA. Um, in the old old school NWA. Um, but this one is valued at $11. So not terrible, but nothing, but nothing special. All right, moving on. We got the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Now, there is a Chase version of this where he's wearing white, I believe, if I remember correctly. I do, I do. Um, and he also, I think he might have money in his hand or something. I forget. Uh, but I don't have this. This is just the common version of the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. Obviously, um, it's kind of depicting, um, you know, Million Dollar Belt version um, of him. So, you know, after he was done with the whole H Hogan Andre kind of feud when he moved on. But not quite Money Inc. yet. Um, so I think the the white version is kind of more Money Inc. ish. Although I think he wore the white a couple of times before that. I don't really remember. Um, but I know he, I definitely remember him wearing white with Money Inc. for SummerSlam '92 in a Wembley Stadium. But um, yeah, so this one's currently valued at a whopping. Uh, let's see, thirteen dollars. Thirteen dollars. So. Not terrible. Uh, Alright, moving on. We got Triple H. The game. With the Skull King version. So I forget what WrestleMania this was from. The one where he fought Roman Reigns, maybe? I don't I can't remember. Um, but obviously there there is a Chase version where he's got the whole whole, whole the whole thing all together. This one's just the common one where he doesn't have it all together. He's just got the the sledgehammers or whatever those are supposed to be. Um, yeah, so, I mean, this is another one that's depicting a certain event. I don't... It was one of the WrestleManias recently. I think it was the one against Roman Reigns, but it could have been the one against... I don't know. I don't know, but whatever. Um, yeah, so this one is currently valued at a... Astronomical $5. Yeah, this one's pretty common, and it's fairly new. So, yeah, to go along with, like, uh, you know, actually, this one's not as new, but still, I think it's pretty pretty easily found out there, so it doesn't have a ton of value. The Chase version is obviously the one people go after, and that one's probably got a decent amount of value. And we're wrapping things up today with a Sergeant Slaughter. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't specifically know what version of Sergeant Slaughter. This is kind of just a generic version of Sergeant Slaughter. Um, it's not, obviously, um, Iraqi Sympathizer Sergeant Slaughter. Um, I don't think they've ever done any merchandise that had 
Iraqi sympathizer, Sergeant Slaughter, um, in it. Um, I, I could be wrong. There might be an action figure out there somewhere. I, I really don't know. I don't know how 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 well that would sell or how well that would go over with people. I mean, at the time, it was kind of nutty to do that in the first place. But um, this is just your standard old Sergeant Slaughter. Um, you know, not even the G.I. Joe version, or maybe it is. I don't know. I suppose. Uh, sorry for the background noise. Uh, my dog is barking at something that's going on. And someone's sawing something, obviously. It can never get a... Never... Never get a moment. Everyone's supposed to be in your house and social distancing and being safe and everyone's outside doing stuff. I don't know. I guess if there's still social distancing, that's fine, but I don't know. You try to get a moment's piece to record some videos without any noise in the background and this is what the, this is what happens. I don't know. Can't get a mo moment's piece. Um, but anyways, this Sergeant Slaughter is currently valued at $11, so nothing crazy. But um, there we go. That's all I got in this box for today. Um, I'm kind of, I, These are all in kind of boxes and I'm... You know, gonna put them in the, the pop protectors, but I'm just kind of going through box at a time. So there it is. That's that's it for today. Come back next time where I go through some more of my Funko Pops, and uh, yeah, we'll continue on with my Mondays and uh, my collections. And then once we're done with that, we'll go on to some other collection I have. But got plenty of collections, so we're, we got we got plenty of videos coming up for you. But uh, keep watching all of them. Hit that subscribe, like like, share, all that fun stuff, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye.